Hello, and welcome to Bay of Honey Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm an empath, intuitive card reader, and a visionary as well. I'm here today to do the sign for the weekly reading for the week of July or June, uh, June 26th through to July the 2nd. And this is for the sign of Cancer. So for anybody's birthdays, happy birthday. It's not mine yet. I'm about, I'm about three weeks away. So, and I'm having a hard time again. You, you know what? I bet you guys the last three readings I've done, weeklies or monthlies, whatever, I have said that it was raining. Then the following week I said it's still raining fog. It's still raining and fog, and it's still raining and fog today. Everything is just a hot, wet, soupy mess. Come on, light for me. Don't make me use my witchy powers. <laughs> I don't have witchy powers. Oh my gosh. But if I could. Whoa. <clears throat> All right, there's some of a smudge. It's just not good enough. I need to do my cards, and you guys have to be done, too. This is such a time-consuming. Speaking of time-consuming, um, I've had a really busy, busy, busy week. And when I've had any downtime, I've been so exhausted. So this is the first reading for the weeklies. I've had to reduce them the, to three instead of seven in order to get through them all in time to get them posted by tomorrow night, Sunday night. This is Saturday. So it'll be the beginning, the middle, and the end of the week reading. I'm sorry. So I'll just do it for just this time, just this once. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And this is for you, Cancer. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's get our shuffle in. <sighs> For the sign of cancer this is a general reading which may or may not resonate with you on a personal level so it means nothing to you don't tell me doesn't resonate doesn't mean it i don't care <laughs> understand what general means i don't mean to be rude but man if you knew the times i hear that well, i don't understand that in me you know it's not that much once every couple of months and it irks me that's all you know what it means, but it doesn't mean anything to you. It doesn't mean anything to you. If you want it to mean something to you, for those of you that are regulars, you know what that means, don't you? you got to get a private reading specific just for you. I do offer the service. All the information for that is found down below in the show more section. Um, the email you see there for me, you just grab that. You just ship that off to me. I will get you taken care of. This is for cancer to crap. I don't know if I want to see these cards or not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Whew. All right. Here we go, Cancer. At the beginning of your week. So this would cover like from a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday kind of a thing. Yeah. Not bad. I'll take it. Six of Swords, all about calm. Middle of the week. Wow, are you kidding me? I'm happy to be a Cancer. Na, 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 boo, boo. Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> Prosperity, oh boy, oh boy. And the last card. Four Swords, recovery. Well, I'll tell you. Prosperity hits me come the weekend and I'm going to need recovery time. I can tell you that right now. So we've got the Six of Swords, which indicates the Sixes are good. They're, they're good numbers to have and to um, have come up. Don't mind me playing with my hair. Some of you, the regulars, will notice I've got about seven inches cut off. I'm still getting used to it. It's been years since I've had a haircut. All right, Six of Swords, calm. So... When this card shows up, it's it's here to tell you, Cancer, that this is going to be a period of calm, calmer waters, um, after a lot of upheaval, a lot of chaos, 
something major that's just happened recently, everything's going to smooth out. That period is coming to an end. Um, anybody that's uh, like upheaval and conflict, um, feelings of uncertainty about certain things, things will be laid to rest. You'll be able to deal with things, find things out, deal with them and put them to rest. Um, there's also going to be trips over water for some of you. Okay. Or if at the very least you'll be accessing a, um, a, bo a body of water, put it that way. Maybe camping beside a water, you know, a lake, the ocean, the bay, a river, there's something along these lines. It is summer, so a lot of people are tenting and camping, RVing and all this kind of stuff. Um, you're going to be moving on in positive ways after this, 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 this rough spot that you've just come through. Um, you will be, you will be uh, moving on in very, very positive ways. There's going to be new work on the horizon for some of you. New job offers, new work opportunities. Um, keep your eyes open. They're right, they're right there. You can almost see them. They're right in the horizon. Um, also, there's going to be a feeling of self-protection. Um, like you need to protect yourself and your better interests. That's going to come to the forefront um, as well. You're going to be prioritizing what's most important to you. So you're going to be stopping to think about what do I need to do first? What needs to be, you need to be placed first, Cancer. You, your spirituality, your psyche, your persona, your personality, your energies, they have to come first in order for you to be a benefit to the rest of the world and the people that are in your world. Um, but you do need to stop and look. And for some of you, there's people in your lives that are no longer serving you any purpose. As a matter of fact, they're either pulling you back or they're they're sucking you down into places you don't want to be, places you don't need to be, cancer. Fight it. Yeah, I'm talking from personal experience. Fight it. Stand right up to it. Face it. Square it head on. And take it down because you can. All right? You're in control of your life. You cut that extra fat away that's no longer needed. You're not burning any energy out. It's, it's sucking your energy. It's sucking you dry and it's weighing you down just the way extra weight would. It's the same idea, only it affects all the inner parts of you, the essence of you, the energy of you. Cut those things and people out of your life. Enough is enough already. Okay, so the advice of the card. Learn to go with the flow at this time. This is going to be to your benefit. Um, and there's no need... There's no warnings, there's no blocks for you to start resisting any kind of change that, that you see coming along. Accept the change, embrace it, leave yourself open to it. Don't, don't, don't shoot it down so quickly. Your keywords are journeys, moving on, safe havens, immigration. So whoever's traveling over water is going, leaving one country and going into another country. And that usually means moving there. You're, you're going there to live to a place you've never been before. Um, you'll be finding peace, resolution, and that sense of protection. So that would be like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday kind of thing. This is like Wednesday, Thursday, into Friday. These cards, by the way, from the attentions I have thrown into them, are all going to overlap so that they run into the full week. So that's what the reading is going to center itself around. So this beautiful card. <laughs> and I'm happy because uh, cancers don't get a whole lot. Oh, you cancers. Have we not had a rough time of it the last few months here? Isn't this heaven? Can you believe it? We have the Ace of Pentacles. Calm and prosperity right on top of each other. It's beautiful. So this card shows up to tell you money's coming your way. This is the coins, the deniers, the pentacles. Um, always indicates money, new initiatives, new starts, new beginnings as well. Um, this is going to come as a reward of some kind. It could be somebody giving you a gift, and I'm feeling strong on that, that somebody's going to come forward and give you an incredible gift of money for a purpose, that, and it's for you. It's just for you. It's something you can carry through and forward, follow through on. Um, more opportunities, good opportunities as well, could be coming your way to generate more income. Um, which is wonderful um, in relationship, in relationships, in relationships. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we call them that relationships. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, stability, good stability in your relationships right now. 
Also, some of you, like I said, are going to be moving to a new home and investing in a new property. And as I said, some of you, this will be overseas into a new country. Um, for others, it'll be within local, maybe the other side of town, maybe on the outskirts, maybe the burbs, maybe rural. But you you will be moving. You, you, you've just invested in a property. Um, the ace is here to reveal a very happy, a very stable time. I'll take both of those. Even in minimal doses, I would take that. Take that better than the other, the option. <laughs> um, the advice of this card, maximize your good fortune. Make your money work for you, not you work for your money. You keep your mind on your money and your money on your mind. <laughs> um, it's time to make some wise financial decisions, all right, through these few days of the week. Your keywords are beginnings. And of course, there would be no beginnings if you have extra, extra money flow, um, calmness. And I just feeling like the sense of relief that's going to be overcoming you and sliding beautifully, silently, quietly, serenely into your life. You're getting the break you need, Cancer. Some of you starting to weep a little bit. I feel like it's about time. Oh my gosh. Your keywords are beginnings and finances, new jobs, success, property, security, and another beautiful word that I know I can't live without creativity have to have creativity um it's a beautiful zone to be in it's like you're still here but you're somewhere else or you're someone else it's beautiful all right the last card so that was like monday tuesday wednesday and then it's like uh yeah no yes monday tuesday wednesday thursday into Friday. Now we've got Saturday and Sunday. Four to four, four to chords. Four to chords. It's not a chord of wood, Natalie. <laughs> it is not the chord on a guitar or a piano. Four of swords. Things of the mind of our awareness, our our con even some subconscious for dreams and this kind of thing. Um, but it's all about recovery. It's all about recovery. This is beautiful. So the card is showing up for your midweek to tell you. You need to take some time and have a break, okay? Um, if you don't take the time, it will be imposed upon you. The universe is going to shift and shape to make it happen. You will be forced by outer circumstances beyond your control to take the break, to step back, to relax, and to rest. Um, so time away from work. Some of you may be looking for a relationship break as well um, because you, you're... you're, you're in a commitment, but it's become stressful. Do you still love? Very much so. Have you invested a lot of yourself? Very much so. Um, but things have gotten a little, can we say heated? A little heated within the relationship and not in the best of ways. Um, you need to break free for a little bit so that you can breathe. You know, the imposed upon you, it could be the person you're in the relationship with pushes that on you. If that happens, accept it and say, fine, okay, I'll leave for a while. I'll go away for a while. I will be back when things calm down, when you calm down, when I can figure things out. But I know that I love you and I know that I want to be here, but not in this way, not for anybody. It's not good. So this has to happen in order for you to get your your priorities straightened and your scruples back and come back with a with more clarity. When you step back and you look at the situation you're in, it it, it just it, it's amazing to look away and then to look back. Whole new fresh perspective. Seeing things you didn't see before. Realizations you never had before. Light bulb moments even. This can go on. But it's going to happen, all right? This is a quiet time that is needed very, very much for you. Any opportunity to look after yourself, take care of yourself, recuperate, and slow down, enjoy a gentler pace of life. Usually when you can separate yourself from that person as well, you see parts of life that you're not a part of anymore. And you want gentle. Maybe they want exciting. That could be a problem. Something for you to work on. But you're going to like the imposition that's being put on you or the fact that you chose to take the break. Either way, the bigger picture at the very end, 
you'll be happy that it happened. The advice is accept that this is how things need to be just now. And progress is to be made when the time is right and divine timing is everything. Your keywords are emotions, time away, taking a relationship break, um, healing, peace, stillness, and rest. And that, my dear Cancer, that's your reading for the week of the, uh, June 26th through 2, through 2, July the 2nd. And all I can say is, at this point, I hope that you like this reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I'm sorry that it was only three cards, but I have to do it this week. We'll get back to her when the next weeklies run around into the seventh. I'm just trying. Every week, my intentions are to get started early on them so I don't fall behind. This week was a little crazy. Next week's going to be a little crazy, too. I'm getting my deck put on Monday. Oh, my. I'm so happy. <laughs> Oh, so grateful. Anyway, so that makes me very, very happy. And it kind of sets me because that's my, it's the deck, but it's like, it's where I, it's where I center myself. It's my zone. It's my life force. It's where my life force goes. My energy goes. It all occurs out there on the deck any time of the year, even in the winter time. I'm crazy that way. So if you like this reading, as I said, you can go ahead and you can email me. Information is down below, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can, I'd like to say thank you to all subscribers. And an extra thank you to the subscribers that are members of Bay of Fundy Fortunes on Facebook group. You are all warmly welcome to join us all there. And I'm highly visible there. I'm there all the time. Not here all the time in YouTube. Only to do the readings and to answer all the comments as well. Feel free to leave your comments. Um, I always respond to all of you. Unless you get downright nasty, then I just make you vanish. <laughs> um, sometimes we have to be that way. It's taken me 50 years to learn that. Anyways, you can find me on Facebook under Bay of Fundy Fortunes. And Bay of Fundy Fortunes is also found on Google and on Blogspot, on YouTube, and on Twitter as well. We like to see y'all there. Um, and for now, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to say, I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you're enjoying the month of June. Cancer, happy, happy, happy birthday, my dear fellow Cancers, brothers and sisters. I wish you the very, very best, whatever day your birthday falls on, but I want it to be the best it can be for you. So for now, I'm going to say goodbye. And I'm going to say, if you're ever looking for me, you can find me right here in Bay of Fundy Fortunes. Or walking down below on the beach along the water's edge that hold the highest, mightiest tides on the whole planet, the beautiful, bountiful Bay of Funday. you always find me there or here. I'm always got one eye peeled in that direction. Because I'm a high tide junkie, you can always catch me waiting on the next high tide. Thank you very much for being here, and we'll see you next month. Bye-bye.